Hello fellow Arbor Art members. I uh, said I'd make a video uh my uh, new redneck auto cycle, auto return, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just had, I just bought this splitter all last year for 500 bucks it was. Um, and it's always worked fine, but I've always wanted to be able to hold onto the log with both hands as I was splitting. Uh, and to save time, it's nice to not have to hold that handle down while it's uh, extending. Uh, and that pusher plate was a little too short to split split two halves into quarters, so we made that a little, little taller. Uh, and, oh, I put a little... Uh, just this is all just scrap I got laying around so it's not just perfect or nothing but I put a table at the end so heavy halves don't fall onto the ground I got to reach over and pick them up now which is kind of nice and I'll, I'll turn it on now and I'll show you how the, the auto return works I guess is what you call it I don't know if my camera works better this way or like this so I'll, I'll do it both ways, just uh, but uh, how it works is, you might be able to hear it a little better. Yeah, you, you push the handle down like that to go make the things extend, and it gets to full stroke, and then it, uh, this piece right here travels down, it's attached to the pusher here, that travels down and hits right here, and throws this arm back to return in this spring. That was the major thing right there, that dang spring, to pull it, not to neutral, but that spring pulls it to reverse. Without it, it would just hit right here and uh, just throw it into neutral. But that's not auto return, so we had to put that spring on there. Uh, well, I'll fire it up. Oh, here, here she goes. Now to stop it. I can even camera now. Wow. Man, that is that. I'll show you this side. <laughs> Cobbled mess it is. Uh, that is just kind of a, kind of just a pinch point. It's it's pretty spring loaded. I I'm gonna make that spring just a little softer. It's it takes a little pressure to pull that bugger down now. And I can probably lop that off about right there. And 
nothing really sticks out any further. So that's good. Didn't cost me a dime. Well, I take it back. I what did I spend? Dollar fifty, dollar fifty. Oh, about six dollars on some new fittings just to make that hose clear that return arm we had to install and it's not welded on the back so we just took another piece of angle and cut a channel in it I don't know if you can see that but no not really uh, oh <laughs> yeah all there is to her yeah I had to heat these up and bow them out a little so they the cylinder wouldn't hit but yeah, I wish I knew which way the camera worked better well uh have a good evening guys